Hello, and welcome to Shark Cut Up CNC. Today we're going to talk about dados that were created in a third party program and imported into BCARV. And here you notice the dados go right to the edge of the material. The problem with that is when it's cut, it leaves a radius edge. Go ahead and just play this. We've already got a <clears throat> tool pass set up for it. We go to the third 3D view and we'll look at this and you'll see that at the edge of the material, you got the radius. This is not kosher. We need a nice clean dado. So what we've done is we've created a gadget that will take the original dados and create new dados by extending them beyond the sheet of material. So let's bring that, get, first we'll look at what we've got on the layers. You got your original dados, which is these dados here, and even the angled dados, the gadget will extend those too. So we've got several different types of get dados here, and they all go to the edge of the material. And that creates the problem at the edge of the material. So what we'll do is we'll go to our gadget, the extender gadget. Of course, you've got to have the, get, uh, the dados highlighted. So there's my message stating no vector selected. So what we'll do is we'll grab all the vectors and we'll go back and choose the gadget again. Here you see the problem issue in a picture on the gadget. And here's the information that you need to fill in. First, this is a tool that you're going to use. We're going to use a 0.25 end mill to carve it. Our material is one inch thick. So the dado depth I've tr we've got set to default as 0.5. Your toolpath name is new dado toolpath. You can change that to whatever you feel is comfortable with. And, and these are all defaults, except for this one here. This is not a default. It, 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 the, evidently, the <coughs> gadget's been used once already, so it's already checked off. But as default, this will be blank. This will all be filled in with these, this information, and this will be blank also. So <clears throat> you will need to check those off or fill them in, change them to whatever you desire. In fact, the layer name, new datos, I'm going to leave that alone. The data allowance, I'm going to change, well, let's see, the radius. To 0.25 end mill we're using. I'm going to go a half inch beyond. Yeah, that's fine. And we're going to create the tool pass. So we say OK to that. And boom, there you go. You've created the tool path. I don't need this tool path. We can get rid of that. That was the original tool path showing the problem issue. So... Here we have all our dados. They've been extended a half inch beyond the sheet. And if I play it or preview it, of course, this is going to take a little while. And I didn't go to the 3D view, so we're going to just have to sit and wait for it to carve all that out on that sheet. But this is great. Even works on an angle. No matter what angle you have on your dado, it will cut that dado out. Okay, we go to the 3D view. Now we no longer have the radius edge. It's a nice clean cut dado. Even on the angles, it's all cut. 
So there you have it, a dado extender that will extend your dados beyond the sheet of the material from third party, or even if you created your dados right to the edge of the sheet by either by accident or just not thinking or whatever the case may be. So there you have it, a dado extender gadget that'll extend your get, uh, dados beyond the sheet of edge of the material. Have a good day, and thank you for watching Shark Cut Up CNC.